I just started using this AI headshot generator tool that's insane. So you train a model with selfies of yourself and then you can make yourself anything. It looks insane. It's hyper-realistic. Let me show you some of the quick examples and how to use this tool. So firstly, here's some of the images that it generated of me. Now, these are all 100% AI generated after training this model. The tool is called fastphoto.io, by the way. But these are so cool. So here is me as a doctor. This looks really freaking good. Let's see some other ones here. Here's me as Superman. Really cool. I mean, like, that's pretty close to me. Some of my other favorite ones, I love this Batman one, for instance. I just think this is so cool. Like, am I stern face but you can also generate really cool things like you in different settings like here's me at my ai marketing world conference that's coming up i started to create some promotional images using this tool and this thing is absolutely fantastic you can create different art styles anime style photos of yourself here's me as ronald mcdonald which is just so silly but yeah you could use this thing so however you want so the website is fastphoto.io i will have a link in the description of this if you want to try it out. And just for full transparency here, it is a paid tool. However, I've been really thoroughly using this. There is a three-day trial down here so you can try it out. I think this tool is fantastic and it does exactly as I want it to. And so go back here and let me show you actually how to train a model. So when you're first signed in here and logged in, you're going to create your digital twin right here and kind of walk through these steps. So I am male. I'm between the ages of 25, 34. I have light brown hair. And then you want to give it all this specific information, right? So my hair is probably, you know, short. We'll go with that. And it's kind of in the side part area. I am Caucasian. I am somewhere between slender and athletic, so I'm going to give myself that benefit of the doubt there. And then uh, what type of clothing that you typically wear, this all helps train the model so that you can get the best results. So sometimes I wear formal, casual, streetwear, athleisure, preppy, minimalist, and sporty. Let's throw edgy in there. Why not? And then uh, types of the backgrounds that inspire me, definitely nature, coastal, minimal, executive suite, and corporate office because I'm the boss. And then how often do I wear glasses? I always wear glasses glasses and, and it'll, it'll give, give you some, some criteria here and photo guidelines. guidelines so and then so what you can do is you can just download photos off of like your instagram or your facebook or you can literally just upload a ton of selfies and so that's what i did here let me scroll back and look at where where those all were yeah so you can see here these are all different selfies that i took just kind of you know zoomed in uh, side profile smiling showing little teeth staring straight and just giving a lot of variety and so all you need to do is just upload all of these images like so and it's going to slowly start to upgrade all of them you always want to with ai make sure that adhere to the privacy policies and then once they're all done generating uploading you can label this and then just start to process your model now this is going to take about two hours to process this is the lengthiest time on the dashboard here you can generate images let me show you how this works this is really cool so i could type in let's say baseball player at bat you can control the aspect ratio. I'm going to go at that uh, swing. Hey, pitch. Let's get a little specific there. The other really cool thing that I like about this, it has this little magic wand tool, and so it'll make my prompt better, right? So a focused baseball player at bat, gripping the wood bat, blah, 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 right? Looks pretty good. All I need to do is click generate here, and it's going to take a minute. And this is pretty cool. So it generated this full body photo of me standing at bat. Kind of almost looks like, like a baseball headshot photo though, right? This is pretty cool. And I think you can get like really specific too. So let's see a vibrant. Let's do Los Angeles Dodgers jersey as well as a, and a well-fitted Dodgers cap. So let's do that. Yes, I'm a Dodgers fan. So let's regenerate this to make me a Dodger. Boom. And there we go. You've got me as as a Dodger. I freaking love that. That is so cool. Now there's other really cool things that you can do with this too. If you just want to do like professional LinkedIn headshot generation, you can do that. So a professional LinkedIn headshot and let's see 
in a, let's see, office environment. And I can click this little magic wand tool here to make this a little bit better of a prompt there. And let's see, big nice and subtle decorative elements like potted plants and fruit. I like that. I was going to add plants anyway. So let's generate this image and see what my new LinkedIn headshot looks like. Boom. And there we go. Kind of looks like a selfie. And I think that's really fun as a headshot there. So you can see all of these other examples that I've generated, full body stuff, suits. And, and yeah, this is just a really fun tool. There's lots of example images down here. Now there's other tools that they have as well over here that you can really get in the weeds, like fitness and lifestyle, art creativity. You can even do interior design updates in this tool. There's image editing solutions in fast photos so you can remove blur. You can do background rem removal, image upscale or magic eraser, subject refine, all kinds of really cool tools to edit photos and create photos that look exactly like you. So I hope you enjoy this tool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this. And again, I do have the link in the description if you'd like to check it out. If you found this tutorial helpful and you want to learn more AI tools and how to use them in your life professionally or just for fun, I have another tutorial right here that I really think that you're going to enjoy. I'll see you in that video, my friend.